Okay, hello and um, welcome back to this channel. I'm sorry um, of her look right now, but I know for a fact if I don't start this look now, I will not start it at all. I tell you what I get this. So what happened the last three weeks? Um, in case you um, you didn't notice, I didn't post a video for I think three weeks now. Mm. In the first week, I worked a lot and also learned for a test, my marketing test um, for my uni um, that I had on one Saturday three weeks ago. Um, I ended up not writing the test because I got COVID again. And I pre filmed, I think, three videos and I, the, the TBR video and my general wrap up is, was totally blurred. You couldn't see anything and I didn't have the time and then I got sick and so I couldn't refilm it. And I had, <laughs> I have still the footage of the last week's Cosaton vlog. But I was so down because I, I was I was sick. I was really sick. Um, I would say last year I had also COVID, but um, I would say last year was worse because I had this brutal headache and I couldn't breathe probably. And this year it was just a really bad cold, like I had high fever, a cough, a really bad cough, a sniff. It was it was disgusting. So I didn't feel like editing and. Then I went skiing, <laughs> and this is this week now, and it's Friday, and I know for a fact that I will not manage to film any video now to bring this out tomorrow or on Sunday, so this is sad. <laughs> um, I actually, I'm not motivated at all to read in the moment. I think I read two books this month, three books? I don't know. I, I actually don't know. I also didn't. Um, I didn't make a February spread in my book journal. I just didn't do it. And my last one is for January, and I'm currently reading I think eight books at the time, and I'm not bothered at all to read one of the books, um, especially for one. And this is what the whole vlog is about. Um, is firstly I want to film something, so I have footage to bring out to you. And I want to reread my old favorites. <laughs> I think this idea um, I have for a long time now, um, it was not my original idea. Um, this was, um, I think Jolene said this to me, it would be funny if I reread my old favorites to see if I still like them or how, what I think about them now. And I think this was around at the time, it was a friend on YouTube that booktuber, um, booktubers reread their old favorites and see if they still like them. So this is not at all a original idea. I don't know who started it, but it's actually a fun idea. And the fact that I want to do this now is because I crave for rebeats in the moment and I'm actually in the midst of a rebeat right now. Um, so before I start a new one and I'm disappointed, like I did this month seven times, I will read my old favorites and hopefully I will come back into a reading mode. <laughs> so. What do I read? Um, I will not talk about the books I'm currently reading because it's depressing and no, I don't want to talk about it. But I want to talk about the books that I want to read and I one book I finished already this month is Hunger Games. I rewatched the movies, I fell in love again. Actually the movies are such a banger. I, this, you can... You can criticize the movies if it's actually a good book to movie adaptation. But rereading the books and seeing the movies, I think they did an actually great job of re um, of a book to movie adaptation. Of course, they left some things out. Also, some important things that I think was really great in the books. But God, the movies are so good. And Jennifer Lawrence is actually such a good actress for this role. It's amazing. And I reread Hunger Games. I'm currently um, in the midst of um, Catching Fire and I'm almost at the end of Catching Fire. I'm, I think I'm on the third part now and I bought the whole bundle for the Kindle um, or books in one. Especially not, it's not included the, the snakes of some but I don't know. And obviously I gave Fun Games a five star. Um, it's amazing. It's, ah, it's, it's so good and Catching Fire will also be a five star because it's so amazing! 
I'm by the way Team Peter. There was never a team game, so it's not even a discussion, okay? Um, it's always Team Peter and it will stay the way that it's Team Peter. So, okay, um, I'm reading that and I obviously will read afterwards Mocking Jay when I'm done with Catching Fire. Yes. <laughs> okay, I love it. But obviously I'm not reading only the Hunger Games right now. Uh, by the way, um, with the fact that I rewatched the movies and re read the books or reread the books, I'm in a deep rabbit hole of Hunger Games edits. By the way, the edits on TikToks from Hunger Games amazing. It's it's the best ones I ever saw. These ones and the House of the Dragon Game of Thrones ones. Bangers after banger. There's not a one bad edit in this whole pool. Um, so yeah. So what I will read too. I think it's time to go. So I um, don't longer have all my favorite books anymore, especially Selection was my favorite book and I wrote fanfiction about Selection and I got rid of Selection. A shocker, I know. Um, but I think um, we will pick out one of my favorites. You can see me now again. Amazing. And my favorites are actually almost everything is here in this button row, in these two button rows. Three. I need to do a selection. I can't, I can't reread everything. Um, so let's start with one of our favorites. Ruby Red by Kerstin Gear. Um, this one, as you can see how my copy looks like, um, it still has these the, the, the edges. I don't know how they're called, but a, like a favorite of the people. This was one of the first books my mother um, that, I re that I read. Um, I read this 2009 and I reread this so often that it's 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 just a favorite. The book is so good. I have this in my back in my mind. This was so good. And this is about Gwendolyn and Gwendolyn lives in London and her whole family is like witch, witchy witch. And they're from an old family that um, a few of them can tra could travel in time. Um, they're time travelers. And but not everyone could do it. There's a specialist gene that you can have, and there's prophecies who will be the next um, person who can actually travel in time. And everyone thought that her cousin Charlotte can travel in time because she was born on this day, and Gwendolyn was born the day after. But it turns out Gwendolyn is the one who can time travel, of course. And then there is this mean. Um, a boy who is also a time traveler, he's 17 and he has his dark hair um, with locks and is um, such an arrogant asshole and of course I fell in love. <laughs> um, obviously when I will read a book now I would hate it and I would DNF this but back then when I read this 2009, how old was I? Was I? 2009? I was 10. 9, 10. This was such a banger for me. And of course it's a trilogy. Um, we have also, um, oh my god, Ruby Red, I don't know how this stone called in English. <laughs> Sophia, blue, and this Maragd, green. And obviously, um, she, Gwendolyn is the ruby, they are of all, as, um, and stone that is um, assigned to them and she's the ruby and there's also a Sophia and a smart um, person and yeah I will talk about more if we get to the book so then one also banger that I actually loved um, is from Josephine Angelini who also wrote the the banger was also a favorite book of mine uh, what was it, was it called star crossed she was star crossed Banger. This could be also an option. Um, and this one is called Try by Fire. I can remember that I actually ate this shit up. Um, Star Quest um, is about Helen and she lives on this island and there are coming new people in town and she doesn't really like them. Also like an asshole boy and they fell in love. And it turns out that she's a half god. Um, there's like this weird 
triangular um, love story that I really, really like. So um, this was a banger, but not actually that I really liked it. This um, one here is actually uh, um, also really interesting. Um, it's about a 17 year old Lily and she has this red hair, red hair and she felt um, different than other people in her community group. Of course, because she's a chosen one. Everyone, I, actually every book that I read back then has the chosen one proof that they are the chosen one that they need to protect the world and they're the savior of everything. This was back then in 2010, this was the shit. Everyone wrote these kind of characters and they're so basic, it's so weird. Um, and obviously Lily um, walks down the street and suddenly she disappears in her world and she appears in a different world. And in this world there are witches and she found herself finding um, a doppelganger that looks exactly like her, it's also called Lily or I think the Lillian because it's uh, their actual name, Lily is the um, nickname. And it, um, obviously the doppelganger wants something from her and then they are trying um, to fight for that something. Actually this was also really good. It's about witches. I love witches. And I think this was the only book about witches that I actually really like. And there are also... This is also a trilogy. Everything back then was a fucking trilogy. I love it. We have obviously Diversion. Also a banger. But I already have a dystopian on that list. So I don't know if I actually want to read this. So, <laughs> then, <clears throat> when you think Twilight is a bad vampire book, did you ever read House of Night, the 12 long book series from mother and daughter? This was, I ate this shit up. I all have almost all the 12 books. This was, this is so bad. First of all, um, she's called like me, Zoe, but she has a written the Zoe name spelling with the Y on the end of Zoe. Um, I'm sorry if you're Zoe with a Y, but for other people who know Zoe's without a Y and with a Y, you will know the difference. You will know. And I can say this because I'm a Zoe. Yeah, I can, t I can say that. And she's this normal girl in school. She hates math. And then one day um, she gets marked as a vampire. And now she needs to survive in the world of the vampires because she's special. Of course she's special. Um, <laughs> she has special powers and is better than everyone else and can control all the elements. Um, the book... I don't know, maybe I'll put this on here. And um, What can I read too? I mean, obviously. Obviously it would be Twilight. A banger, a banger. The Weavert list will be Catching Fire, Mocking Jane, because I will obviously finish the series because it's just one book more. Twilight for the nostalgia. Ruby Red, definitely. I'm craving to read this book. And um, by the way, there's a movie about Ruby Red. Um, don't watch this. It was the most horrible book to movie adaptation I ever saw in my entire life. So every time I hear someone, oh, this is such a bad book to movie adaptation. Really? Did you ever watch Ruby Red? Because this was obviously Trial by Fire, Everflame, also called in German. And I will put House of Night on there. Let's <laughs> see how I like them. Wait, we can for the picture. And can use. Wait. This is, by the way, the German edition of um, Catching Fire. I know. Weird. The face is on. Um, books were really in here not because actually can we talk about I know I'm already talking too much I'm so sorry I didn't talk to any humans at all in last group this is the first book try by fire the German version ever flame a stunning cover I like it I like the flames um, or the, the 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 flowers that are looking like flames and then I changed the cover for the second book with the humans on it. And this is not a special edition, they just changed the cover. Disgusting. Disgusting. So, you will read this. And the sad part is that I need to now um, sort of my closet 
Actually, I'll show this to you because it's also disgusting. Welcome to my closet. It looks horrible. Um, this part is my boyfriend's. I especially not this one. This is mine with my underwear, socks, bras, and stuff like that. But this one is everything mine, and it looks it, it's so full. I can't really move anything here, and a lot of things don't fit anymore. So I um, sort this out, and you can watch me now. a lot more emptier bit not really emptier um, I need to try it a bit on and also here it it looks like a hot mess but I need there are a few dresses I need to try on because I don't know if they fit in me anymore <coughs> and there are a lot of sweatshirts that I have since a long time I don't know for a fact that I don't longer fit into these or they were already like really tight when I originally had them and also, what also, sometimes, like this one, it will still fit me, but I hate the texture of it. I don't like how it fits on my skin. But I need to try on a few dresses now, because um, I know I've, a few of them I bought last year, so they should still fit. But there are also a few dresses I have in size 8. It's been a hot minute since I fit into an 8. I'm a size 14 to 16 now. Just want to say that. <laughs> So it's update time. I'm a hot mess right now because I finished catching fire and then now I'm in the last chapter of Mokinche. And Graham's death always gets me. The way Katniss uh, always talks about in in the last in the last chapter, so also the whole book, but especially in the last chapter where she was like planning her suicide um, because she don't want to longer live anymore, because she has no one left. Her mother left her, Gail left her, Peter is still, he's not Peter anymore, but like sadly, Hamish is, is the same mess as Katniss. The scene when Buttercup comes back. I'm a little bit sensitive today, I have my, t my period, but.
Flying to this book. I started yesterday after finishing Mockingjay. Um, you watched it. It was pretty traumatizing. And I'm already like this far into it. The pages are really thick. And I have four chapters left, so I think I can finish this before work. And I can remember why I love this book. I think if I ever read this now for the first time, I would not love it as much, but it brings me right back to the memories when I was in the fifth grade and I read this for the first time. And I really love it. And I think the it's like typical YA um, fantasy where the chosen one and she's special and there's this guy who's like really mean and she doesn't like him because why should she like him? And you know what I mean. But what I like in this book is that between each chapter there's information about um the the whole world like a little bit of information not like get a footnote um way um like other books do but it it looks like this um you have the timeline of the whole family nine who can travel in time from the female um from the woman um and we have the same with the men and we have a little bit quotes and because they can travel in time this is like this whole organization they um, write it in a book when they travel in time and where they traveled and what happened on the day there when they traveled and you can read a little bit of the um, notes that the person take on this day um, like Gideon Gideon is the man in the story the the boy was like this mean guy and she doesn't she's attracted to him but doesn't want to say it um and there was as um, a note about him that he traveled back in time to this day and this what happens and he told him to buy um apple <laughs> apple <laughs> um something from apple in the future so they can go get rich or they're talking about um it's always in red um, here they talk about that the first theory was that the men can travel when they are uncontrolled travel in time they travel more often and longer than the female um, travel timer time traveler and it turns out later nowadays you know that it's not true um, it's it's just random how they travel in time some travel really short but often and sometimes they travel long uncontrolled um, so this is like really fun and here's the mail um, timeline with the family how it looks like um, in prophecies so it's, it's really cute I love it okay hi I don't know when was the last time that I updated you because I think it was a long time because I forgot that I did the vlog um, but I reread all three of the um, Reread trilogy. I don't know the actually trilogy name in English, so I'm I'm sorry for that. But um, except for Sapphire Blue, um, the reread and Smaragd, Smaragd, Smaragd. I don't know how the um, stone is called in English, but um, Smaragd Green. <laughs> 
Um, these two were five stars, Sapphire Blue was uh, four star for me. And I loved it. If you ignore the timeline in the book, that is everything in the three books happens in 13 days. They are great books. I loved reading them again. Today, um, a friend of mine was here and she laminated my eyebrows. Um, this is why they are like big now. And also um, colored them. This is how they look like. They look white, but I'm not supposed to wash my face uh, or to put any water on it for the 20, next 24 hours. So I think um, it looks so big now because of the color. Um, but I, yeah, I will wash my face tomorrow and then it will be totally fine. Um, so I filmed my wrap up for February um, right now, like this, because I don't care. Um, so, yeah, so because I'm on a wait weekend, I'm in Cologne and I can I can't film anything tomorrow, so I want to edit it and put it out so I have something um, for the weekend when I'm not there. Oh, and I got new wine glasses because my other one broke the other day and they're really fancy. Can you even see it? And they're also called fancy. I ordered six. One of them is broke, broken, um, which is something I expected, <laughs> to be honest. Um, I thought originally that I, would, I only one will survive it, um, so I think five out of six is, is it's okay. Um, but they are really fancy. My boyfriend was just one of the boring white ones, and I was like, no, this is a household with fancy glasses, with fancy. Um, we are not boring. If you have boring white glasses, that's totally fine. You can do that. I understand you, but. I'm in the early states of adulthood and I want to have fancy things. I don't know what to read next. Um, my original thought was to finally finish some books, but I also want to reread the Everflame book. I don't know how it was it called again in, in, in English. But the one with the witches that I told you. I think I want to reread this. Um, so I will do that. So I will not read in House of Nine again. Because I have the motivation to read them again and I like them. And as you saw, I will read the whole series again. <laughs> and 12 books is too much to read um, uh, back to back. And the other one has also 3 books again, so I think it's totally fine. <laughs> to my lips I um, obviously bit on them and 
they're open. Um, okay, ignore it. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I finished Ever Flame or Try by Fire, I think, by Josephine. Josephine Angelini, is it that's how how you pronounce the name in English? Try by Fire. So this is um, also one of my favorites. I reread it now, and I can say. <sighs> What can I say about this book? I think I give this um, a three star rating. Um, no, I don't think it's bad. I just can remember that I started actually liking the books later on in the series, so not with the first one. Um, the first one, there's a lot of world building there, a lot of world building. Um, so we have Lily. I don't know, I, I think I said it. We have Lily, um, she lives in our world and she's like really miserable, has multiple allergies is really sick and she has no quality in her life of her life by her life and one day after a betrayal of her best friend um a voice in her head says um i ready now to go to a different world and she says yes because she's a teenager and heartbroken so she goes to um a different world and in this other world um there's a different version of her also Lily, Lillian, um, she goes by Lillian in this world, not by Lily, and she's a witch. And in this whole world, it's very similar to our world, and there's, but there's no, um, there's no science. Like, everything is run by the witches and the witchcraft, so they produce everything from the, um, from electricity to medicine to food. They provide everything just with their with the um, witchcraft and science is um, now forbidden. Um, they did it, and but the world is so much healthier, healthier than our world is. And I think it's a funny um, critique in some way to how we um, in our world destroyed it with our science. I mean, science is good. I also work with medicine and I think medicine is great, but I mean, you just now look at the Villa project in the USA um, and you will know what I mean with critique to science. Um, science is great to a part before it, just, it, it is destroyed our world and this is also something they talk about in this book. Um, so I think for that it's great and I think it's fun to read. I actually really like it. But like I said, there's a lot of world building because um, Lily, um, every version of Lily, like there's a there's, there's a multiverse with different worlds, and then in almost in every world there's a Lily, a Lillian, and also some other characters um, that are near to her, and so this Lily is also a witch. Um, this is why she was so miserable in our world because she couldn't provide her witchcraft. The things that she needs to survive so she goes to this world is um oh, by the way synopsis at chapter three okay this is really beginning and then we have from page there the there just world building of how their society work what um is different to ours what is there how she also there's multiple rituals in the book how she um produces um medicine and all that stuff and also learn to be a witch and I think it's really interesting. Do I plan to read now the second book? I don't know, but I'm also in a really big reading so I just want to play Sims 4. So, <laughs> but also want to finish this vlog. So um, if I re-read re re also the second and the third book, you will see this in my wrap up, but not longer in this video because I need to edit something for this Saturday. So, yeah, this was the reread my favorite books. I'm still in a slump, but I'm happy that I reread books that I know that I liked. And it bring up some good old memories from when I started reading again with the, okay, the reread trilogy. I was like, with, when 10, this was the first books that I started reading, but Hunger Games and this book. Also, like the different, the other series from here, the Star Crossed something I don't know the title in English 
but this was ever this was the books that i read when i was a teenager so yeah i'm grateful for them and yeah this was everything so i hope you like the vlog i have no idea of how much footage i have because i filmed this in a span of i think a month this vlog so <laughs> I hope you have fun to edit this now. <laughs> so everything, everything down in the description down below, what you need to know. And then I wish you all a happy day, week, whenever you watch this. And I see you in my next videos. Bye. Mm -hmm.